Come on. Hey. Welcome back there, buds. Let's make some sparkles. This is a beautiful concoction. It is the spork of the cooking world. So let's get into it and see how I made these. To begin, I take this spurtle that I have and I trace out an outline, use that as a template, and I can take that over and cut it out on the bandsaw. Don't cut your fingers off there, bud. Now I'll do a little bit of rough sanding and get that closer to that line. Now here's a little tip of the day for you, bud. You just take an old shoe there, you get that rubber sole and that sanding disc, and that'll clean out all the old buildup, get it good as new. So here I'm on the drum sander now, cleaning those inside curves, getting it up to the line. Looking good, looking good. Now that that is all roughed out on the sanders, we get that uh, curve outline on the other profile. Let's get that traced out, get it back to the bandsaw again. First I need to adjust that height, take it down to the block, then up just a hair. That way you know that that blade is always going to be nice and secure, not have too much flex. Now that I got everything roughed out on the bandsaw and the sander, I'm going to take this spoke shave. This is just a cheapo I picked up on Amazon. I think I, there was a smaller one, a bigger one, and then this file came with it, all for like, I don't know, like 20 bucks or less. I mean, these are absolute junk, but if you spend a little bit of time sharpening the blade, flattening the sole, getting it set up right. It does the trick in a pinch, so that's what I needed. This is probably one of the most fun tools to use. Love these planes, everything. Anytime I can get my hands on hand tools and then get allergies, I'm all for it. I can finish that off when I sand it. I just want to get that nice and rounded over. You can see from the sample I was given, it rounds over. This is one that I've already made. Had to make six of these. Maybe you're one of the six that got one. Now you're watching this video, cooking your spaghetti using your I can't remember the name of this now. Spurtle! Spurtle! 
You're using your spurtle. Now you know where your spurtle comes from. Good majority of that meat. Take my file, my rasp. Just hit the rest of this with the sander, clean it up the rest of the way with a little 120 grit, followed by 150 grit, 220. We'll be set, set and pretty. Clean up now. It's final smoothing 150. Two twenty. As we get that as smooth as Buckley's belly button. Now the moment we've all been waiting for to see that beautiful cherry green pop. I'm just gonna Give this a coat with that Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner. This is a food safe finish for this spoon. It is just mineral oil and some carnuba. Carnuba and beeswax. So you can easily use this for cooking. You should be okay. And I'm only gonna do one coat. This will obviously be used and washed so yeah no. let's zoom in so you can see that get a couple oohs and ahs it really just really is something just sucks it right up And this is the oil that I always use on anything that would be in contact with food. There's really nothing to it other than just wiping it on and watching the magic. You can do, let that dry, do another coat if you want. You usually do. That's it. There's old Myrtle Spurtle. We can get some good use out of this. I think I'll make a few more for myself. Maybe if anybody's interested, I could knock a few more out if you would like to purchase one. Also, make sure that you're always following me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also on TikTok with a little bit of everything. Just look up John Bear Woodworks on any of those pages, sites, you'll find me, you'll find me and Buck. So, till next time, play it safe, buds. <laughs>
how I can do it over all these rocks. But you can do it! That's this puppy dog in the forest, aren't you, Buck?